So today I decided to become a dwarf. And I'm gonna go conquer the land. Because that's what dwarves do apparently. But aren't dwarves supposed to like dig holes or something? To start things off, I had to build a little campfire for myself so that I could level up and put some skill points into things. So of course I decided to put my skill point into strength because damage is the only important thing of course when you're conquering the world. And the first place I decided to go to was this little goblin encampment that was in the middle of the woods. I swiftly took care of the goblins. I did save some guy who was locked up in a cage by those goblins. Not sure how he got caught. He must have been overwhelmingly weak. I did try to talk here to him, but all he said was... It was pretty clear to me that I was going to need a lot of food to explore, and so I decided to hit up the nearest farm, because I reckoned that it was going to have a lot of food that I could use to explore. So much so that I couldn't even pick it up anymore. I was full on food. What a nice problem to have. Unfortunately, I couldn't build a storage tent quite yet. However, I did find a workaround where I just used up all the food to explore the neighboring areas and then got more food from the farm. Whilst I was looting this man's farm, I got viciously attacked by a band of kobolds. These foul beasts came from nowhere and in large quantities and they split my wrist and punctured my face, but I survived their ghoulish attacks and continued rummaging through this man's farm. Once I was finished with that, I came back home and realized that I had enough resources to build myself a little tavern, which would automatically generate me some money over time. I then sent myself into a cave down below, as a dwarf should. I killed a mushroom to give me food. Whoa, a necklace of toughness, a blue thing. Nice. There was some guy who wanted me to exterminate all the goblins in the area, and he even offered to help me. However, unfortunately, he did just kind of jump down a cliff at the first sight of goblins like an idiot. I soon followed in his footsteps and realized uh, immediately the error of my way, where I got stuck surrounded by a bunch of goblins until I took the plunge and just sent it to the archer goblin, killed him, and then that's it. Their defenses were broken and I could gather all the loot that I wanted. Whoa, that's a good sword though. And a better helmet. Look at that sword, plus one dexterity and crit chance and shit. This goblin's got the best loot, clearly. I decided that the goblins were just too much for me, so I kind of just left and went to some other area where there was some blacksmith guy that I completely ignored. And oh no, is that a bunch of wolves? I hope I can just stand still and left click till they go away. Ooh, I've got enough resources to build a storage tent, don't mind if I do. I can enter the tavern, what the fuck? There was a funny little clicker game you could play in the tavern, but we'll get to that later. I loot this ring of hay green? Yeah, why not? I did save up enough resources to build myself a little blacksmith, which did unlock the ability to forge and dismantle things. However, I was too poor to do either one. Oh hey, what a lovely farm. I sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> Farmer, these goblins, give us back our boss or we come get you or die. Good answer, goblins, we is gonna pay you. Give us boss back. What happened here? Oh, that happened. Understood. <gasps> oh, goodness. Oh, my lord. I'm out. See ya. Goodbye, my boy. Going to the desert. Gonna eat some sand. <laughs> what is this? Am I just stronger now? What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. What a nice looking cave. I sure hope nothing bad happens in it. This is a mistake. Oh man, uh, suddenly I don't feel so good. You got a paralyzed face, shattered spinal column. That's not good. Well, at least I got a bunch of loot from that place. Oh, hey, a refinery. Too bad I can't do anything with it because I have no metal or coal. Oh, hey, I have enough resources to build a trade depot. How convenient, for I have all of the things to sell. And with all this newfound wealth, I decided to instantly spend it all to the same guy for a ring. And with this ring in my possession, I could do up to 156 critical damage. And that's it. Oh, oh, we got a green. Ooh, let's give it a shot. Seems, seems potentially good. 
And what better way is there to try out a new weapon other than to go around every nearby goblin encampment or fort and absolutely slaughter them all, which was made super easy because, well, the weapon was doing a lot of damage. And conveniently, my efforts of slaughtering all the goblins were rewarded because one of the chests contained a beautiful green chest plate. Ooh, what the hell? Was five dexterity? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, and I did find another trapped dwarf who also said Whilst I was rummaging through various goblin encampments, I did run into a bit of an issue. You see, there was this shaman fella who just kept spitting fire at me and his bars were just far too much to handle for my measly little body. However, after running away and recalibrating my attack strategy, aka changing from melee to ranged, and getting some help from the nearby camp of people, I ended up actually killing him with my axe throws. Yes, yes, I know I am a god gamer and I am very humble about it. Oh my lord, I'm getting all the green loot all over the place. What do we have? I have an amazing helmet. Hell yeah. Library moment. Basically, I collect the pages and then they turn into books and I buy those books and get some extra stat bo boosts. But I'm too, I'm too broke in page and money wise right now. So later, I guess. Oh my god, a legendary sword. 39% chance of critical. Wow. And lifesteal and like 14. Oh my lord. Too bad I can't afford it. I then proceeded to go back to the barn demon that absolutely sent me to the shadow realm earlier. And I sent him to the shadow realm this time. Cause I am just so much more powerful now. Oh hey, this little guy looks kind of tough. Uh oh, oh he's dead. Okay. Woof, 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 woof. Just eaten alive, okay. I got you, wolf. I got you. Oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, everything better. Just 12 dexterity. Oh, my lord. Oh, a tavern upgrade. Don't mind if I do. And now with this new upgrade, I, we can do bounties, which give us lots and lots of money if we can do them, which I could use to potentially buy those legendary tools and armors and whatnot. Uh, one of the bounties was apparently in the siege thing, and so I went there to do it, because why not? I did build up some barricades, but they, were, they turned out to be utterly useless and an absolute waste of 200 precious wood. Uh, the actual siege was um well very easy actually the only difficult part of it was the bounty because as you can see he took no damage and just every single one of his attacks just gave me a horrible horrible battle wound however after slowly whittling him down i managed to get him please if end this please how much longer how many more enemies do i gotta kill and as you can see i was getting very tired of the raid because frankly the enemies were just not doing any damage to me but it was taking quite a while to kill all of them that's my reward oh shit oh my lord it's a lot of stuff jesus christ flying all over the place my my goodness we got an amazing helmet excuse me dexterity constitution all kinds of other shit fuck yeah and the other one i i bet will sell for a great amount of money oh hey and look with all the siege loot i could finally build a market which i can use to buy resources but i will never do in the entire game i decided that it was time to go to another bounty but this guy just kept shooting lightning bolts at me and i couldn't do anything to him basically so i left after sustaining heavy wounds. I then decided that it was a good idea to go and try another bounty, as if I haven't learned my lesson. And no, I haven't actually, because I, I went in and got a hemorrhaging heart immediately, pretty much. I did manage to separate the main guy from his archers and kill them one by one, but then when it came down to the last main boy, he bloody vaporized me. And it turned out that I failed my mission, and all hope was lost. Until I wasn't.
Because I'm a magical creature who can save and load the, the timelines and whatnot. So about the clicker game I mentioned earlier. Basically, you get permanent stat boosts if you complete tasks in the clicker game. And that's what I did by AFKing for like an hour or so. And now, I am much more powerful than I should be. I decided to try out this newfound strength on those weird troll goblin things that I found in this abandoned village that one time. I didn't really do much damage to them. But they didn't really do damage to me either, so eventually I just kind of killed them. It took a very long time of fighting, but eventually I managed to do it. At least I got a handsome reward of 100 wood for my efforts. A tavern upgrade, nice. Uh, at this point, yeah, all the things in the local vicinity just didn't do damage to me, like, at all. Even this, like, necromancer guy just kind of walked up to him and spammed left click with no regards to what his attacks are. This Varric the Hungry guy, though, he was a bit more challenging because he actually did damage to me. However, by just being careful and kiting them all, I just ended up destroying him and his little lackeys. Hello, Mr. Lack. Librarian, sir. I am going to go read your books, okay? <laughs> my books? No, 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 you can't read my books. No, 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 no. Do not dare read my books, okay? Do not my books, okay? Yeah, not my books, yes. Uh, right, I didn't, I didn't quite get, catch that, uh, so, like, I can read them, right? No, 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 you can't read my books, no, 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 But, like, but, like, no, 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 no books for you, no. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't fuck with the librarian, I guess. Speaking of librarians, we got our first little book that increased our melee attack speed by 10%. Buggies! Oh yeah, and I can, like, craft stuff, by the way. I decided to craft a little longsword for myself, and it turned out to be bloody amazing. It didn't have any special setup, but it did just do a lot of damage, which was nice. And then I found out just how powerful my recruits are. Whereas before, a fight of a couple of these troll goblin thingies would take about like a minute or so. While now, it takes only like 10 seconds or something. Map update. So we got most of the map uncovered now. The only problem is most of the places I haven't been to and they're overrun with all kinds of goblins and ghouls and whatnot. So we gotta go take care of them. Map update out. Let's see, you got anything good in your shop? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, that seems, you know what? I like that. That right there, I like that. And now, since I've seen the true power of the recruits, I decided to hire more recruits. <gasps> Is that a seed horn I hear? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I went into another siege, thinking that it would be rather easy, just like the other one where I just took no damage. However, I did not foresee the enemies having minigun druids. Are you kidding me? These dudes literally stood still and minigunned at me with their staves, and they were I, and I couldn't do anything about it except for stand there and tie. Due to the humiliating defeat, I made the executive decision to have all my recruits do more heavy lifting for me. Yes. I know, I'm saying this with a heavy heart, but my recruits just aren't pulling their weight and are far too weak to do even the most basic of sieges and protect me from all harm. And so I built a training ground for them so they could be just a little bit stronger. Even though I did all that I could for my poor recruits, they still couldn't get it right. And they let me die to single stray archers. And so, unfortunately, I had to travel far and wide to gather the necessary resources so I could build them in even better training ground and have them fight ever stronger. Ooh, a book that increases my attack damage by 10%. Don't mind if I do. Hehehe, <laughs> these foolish little kobolds won't know where to hit them. Wait a minute. Are they friendly? Go speak to the leader. Oh, yes, I, of course I will. Yes, yes, yes. This is, uh, you see, we make peace over here in Kobold land. Uh, but, but there's this bad Kobold uh, with bad magics and stuff, and uh, he shoots fireballs at us, and I don't like it, and I don't like it. No, 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 I don't like it. It's no good. And could you please, could you please stab him? Uh, that, that little guy, he deserves a little, little stabbing, I think. A little, you know, you know, yes, 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 that would be very lovely, yes, please. Oh, yes, okay, no problem, good sir, yes. I can do that for you. Uh, hello, people. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, my boy. Here we go, done. 
Yeah, that cobalt was a bit of a pushover, but thanks to this new training grounds upgrade, pretty much everything will be pushovers. And then some guy gave me a purple shield, which is a rarity that I haven't ever seen before. The only unfortunate thing is, is that the shield is a bit shit. At this point, the game has introduced runes and rune combination puzzles and whatnot, but they were rather simple. All I really had to do was take a picture of any rune combination that I saw, and hopefully one day when I stumble upon an activation sequence, I could just look at the pictures, and it's pretty much what I did for every single place. Some of them I didn't ever find, that's alright. I did acquiesce the ability to imbue items with magical properties and whatnot, and so naturally I just put everything to strength or overall damage percentage. If you were wondering about my books, well fear not, because I'm hitting y'all with a book update that's right ladies and gentlemen we got five books and i bought a sixth and that that's the end of the book update the uncertainty of life a thrilling installation on the perils of life and uncertainty of the dwarven ways dude you just ruined my life's work what the hell is wrong with you you know nothing of art you foul beast now get out of my sight and that's the last book Boom! Everything's complete. Hell yeah. Whatever shall we do, guys? We're some completely surrounded. Oh no! Oh no, guys, we're surrounded! No! This is so unfortunate. Got them, bro, I need that. Oh! What is this loot? What? Shut up, I don't want to talk to you. What? <laughs> Excuse me, is any of it actually go- Oh, yeah it is. The loot looked good, but I pretty much only put on the helmet, because it gave me lots and lots of strength. Oh hey, all those rune pictures that I took earlier actually came in handy, because I ended up completing this puzzle with a random rune combination that I had no clue where I got it from. For my reward of taking random pictures, I received another purple weapon. And this one was rather special, because it didn't do any damage. However, it did have a very high stat in Convergence. I did not know what this did, but I was really curious, so I went and used it on a couple of enemies. I believe it made them fight for me, basically. However, for whatever reason, I started taking damage from literally nothing until I died. So, basically, this sword kills you. I don't know why or how, but it does. Raise your spears and steal thine heart, for it is siege time. And not any siege, it's the final siege. And honestly, I really thought this one was going to be rather difficult, because the enemy just took no damage and did a lot of damage. However, each wave looked like a minute to spawn. I killed the enemies in like 20 seconds, and then stood there for 40 seconds doing nothing. So what did I decide to do? I jumped up onto the little rune platforms and AFK'd and let all my recruits do the work for me. And it worked splendidly. I got lots and lots of goodies. For free. It's time to loot, I suppose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Right. Garbage, garbage. I'm just going to look at the prices. Like, I don't even care about anything else. Oh, well, this one's pretty expensive. What about this? Nope. <laughs> Well, it's all pretty much garbage. Alright, we got another upgrade. And double the armor rating of your body armor? Why, yes, please. Finally, after many, many hours of fighting and battling various monsters and doing quests, I have finally completed the entire map. Only had one more area to go. And I just dashed through it and destroyed everything. As I did with every other area, pretty much. Well, I guess I suppose I lied a little bit. I did have some other areas to go. I had to activate beacons. And after each beacon activation, it revealed a new area on the map. So I quickly breezed through all those and went to the final area of the entire game. Here we stand, man, in the most dreadful and horrible and difficult place in the entire planet this is our last mission we've been through so much but now to arms men we shall do something i'm sure wow dude that was such an amazing speech it really rustled my feathers now go and defeat the goblin king let's proceed 
There he is. Do you think I can, like, three-shot him? Nah. I'm not doing any crits. Ow, ow, ow. Loot, give me the loot. Hold on, hold on, get rid of these guys. Hold on, they're annoying. Do some damage to the boy. I <laughs> should've brought some potions. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping. You can't do anything to me if I'm jumping, right? Oh, oh, he's dead! Nice! It was just that easy, man. Destroy this door like it was nothing. Oh my god. This loot better be good. I don't know which, where it is. Which one is it? I mean, seems pretty good, generally, I think. With the Goblin King dead, and a whole more passage revealed, the dwarf kind looked at the mountain of Hrothgar. Now the true journey begins for the dwarves, to expedition the depths, to find their ancestors, to become what they were, were destined for. But who will lead these refugees? Who will guide them through the darkness, to establish dwarf kind once and for all? Me, 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 I, I, I can do that. I'll be the dwarf king. And that is all. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!